So let's give you guys the perfect loadout to run at any point with your time in this game. Now, this loadout is going to be primarily a stealth kind of base loadout, more CQC, more medium range, a lot of base clearing. That's kind of what you're going to want to use this loadout for. So I really do recommend it. And we're going to really set you guys up here good today, okay? <laughs> so if you haven't played this game in a while, or if you're new to this game and you're looking for something to do, try out this fit, try out this loadout, try out these perks, and try out this class I'm about to share with you. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the weapon we're running here today is the 4AC. Now, it's going to go really well with this outfit as you can see, but before we do continue, I want to quickly point out one thing about this weapon and its stats. Have a look at it compared to the M4A1. You'll see that the M4A1 stats are all in the red. For every single statistic there, it even has the same damage at 27 at MK3 for both the models, but even the M4A1 Assault still in the red. However, it has a little bit more damage. The M4A1 CQC, which is probably arguable that it's the most closest thing to the 4AC in this game, like arguably the closest. Again, 27 damage, but look, all in the red. So, you know, I really do recommend the 4AC. So that's where we're running here today. And uh, if you guys, if you guys like this fit, you may have seen it before. I tend to run variants of this fit in some of my videos, especially my Ghost Streak on Wildlands vs. Breakpoint video. I used a fit like this. All right, so parts. The 4AC, we're running with the standard barrel, the ASR standard magazine, the ASR suppressor, the Moldier, the digital sight, the UBR Gen 2 stock, an auto single trigger, and lastly, the grip pod. Okay, guys, so we're going to be running the ATAX IX camouflage, and I'm setting all the parts to black. All right, this is more of a visual thing. Don't get too hung up on the camos. Feel free to make those camos match your environment. But this is what I'm running here today. And I think it's a clean look. All right, cool. So for the pistol, we're running the P227. If you wanna know why I like this pistol, check out my top five pistols video, okay? So these are the parts. Now we can probably put on a muzzle, like if you want, not a muzzle, sorry, a suppressor. Um, but let's change these parts now. Now we went with the ATAX IX, but feel free to just, you know, again, experiment with what you want. There's even the Sentinel Forest, that's a paid one. Same with the Sentinel Urban, but I'm, I think I'm gonna run with this one. It's a paid one, you gotta get the Sentinel Urban Camo Pack, but I think it looks great. It's an alternative to the, um, to the Woodland, you know? Anyways, get that laser also set, so cool. Now our weapons are set, parts are all black for each of them. Now let's go over my perks. Now there's three perks I run in Ghost Recon Breakpoint that are gonna give you guys success no matter what, all right? <laughs> yeah. So I like to use the close and personal perk, I like to use the ballistic advantage perk, and I like to use the slim shadow perk. I run these perks 100% of the time that I play. I never switch these three off anytime, doesn't matter what I'm doing. These are very important things when it comes to this game because again, you really wanna lean in on that stealth. You want the ability to hit targets down range and you wanna be able to reload, reload quickly when you're in a pinch, okay? And I'm gonna try and showcase all of that here today when I do my test run after we set our, ourselves up here, okay? So you're gonna pair these three perks, which are arguably the best perks in this game. Fight me about it in the comments and also pair that with the Pathfinder class. All right, the Pathfinder class, I've, I've talked about it to death, but it, it basically, in short, will give you a white hot thermal, like a FLIR NVG filter. So you're gonna be missing out on an entire NVG filter of this game if you don't play the Pathfinder class, okay? You're also gonna be missing out on important drops that are sprinkled throughout the game world when you play with Pathfinder. So I recommend you pair these three perks with Pathfinder, and again, pick a loadout of a weapon you really like. We're using the 4AC here today for today's example. But honestly, guys, <clears throat> sorry, had a little burp kick in there. <laughs> I was, uh, I was, I just drank a Coke, dude. I'm going to straight up with you. I just drank a Diet Coke before recording. So I'm like fighting gas here, man. <laughs> All right, guys, let's jump into it. Now that you have everything set up here, I'm going to give you guys the outfit and the parts for that. All right, so let's do that next. For the helmet, we're gonna go with the Future Soldier helmet. Comes with all the dressings, set it to multicam. That way you don't have to worry about headphones. For the vest, the wolf armor, arguably one of the best free vests in this game. It looks the best, it has all the great pouches, set it to multicam. And then we're gonna put on those Oakley SI assaults, but it looks like, yeah, I do have the wrong cam on. So yeah, let's just switch that to uh, multicam to match it. 
make it nice and fitted here. And then for the pants, the fix-it pants, arguably the best free pants in this game. Fight me about it if you guys don't agree. I'm kidding, man. There's a lot of great options. Um, but the boots, we're going to go with the lightweight boots. Feel free to put on whatever you want, but make sure you get those colors to match. I mean, not like anyone's going to notice the boots. Let's be real here. Um, but let's switch tabs here now. For the headset, I do have a paid Peltor Comtac on, but I can switch that to none because, again, the Future Soldier helmet comes with it. The John Kozak cross comms, but... I mean, if you guys want to put none, we do have MVGs on, but like, here, let's just, um, let's just show you guys some of the glasses options real quick. So, we got the, uh, John Kozaks on here, and then, we got the Oakley Jawbreaker cross comms, which actually look not bad. This is more just a quick little tease for you early players who are still early in the game, this is what you couldn't get to, so, you know, the ACH versions are also really nice, so, feel free to play around with your glasses. Um, forgive me for the sound outside. Seems to be a guy revving his motorcycle. <laughs> Cred G3 Combat, it's a paid item. Set it to multicam. If you want a free jacket, just put on the 511 Expedition. All right? For the face mask, we're going to do Future Soldier face mask. And we're going to set that to black, okay? And for the patches, the Ghost Recon Insignia patches, the L3 GP nods, and set those to black, I'd say, just to kind of change it up a little bit. And then for the CQC, um, you know, it's really up to you, but I'm going to put on the... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's switch out of the Bradley Bowie. Um, I mean, I don't care about knives in this game, as you can see, I don't even care to unlock them. Um, I just really, I switch between, like, the Bradley, the Echelon, and the Fury, and sometimes the Straight Edge. Uh, but let's just put on Fury, because in, in terms of, like, the Echelon versus the Fury, I think the Fury looks a lot better. So we're going to switch with that. So that's the outfit here, and now we're going to jump in, and I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and show you that this loadout and this outfit and this whole setup is ideal for taking down, like, really hard bases in this game okay so let's jump right into a wolf base on golem and let's show them how it's done okay here we are guys let's put my money where my mouth is the 4ac with the digital sight that standard mag that ubr gen 2 stock multi a grip pod what else we put on this bad boy here <laughs> the outfit i mean if you guys followed it or not regardless Mostly what this all boils down to is the weapons we picked. Ooh, and now I hear a voice. So, let's listen and find this guy. So that's a sentinel voice I heard. Good night to you. So yeah. This is going to be a, a fun little time here today. I'm really going to showcase these these parts, these perks. I'm going to try to point it out when they really are, you know, shining. So yeah, let's uh, hit this guy with a nice clean headshot, semi-auto. Hey, no complaints there. Nice and clean, nice and precise, feels tame. The, the ACR is always a great time. And yeah, like I said, guys, if you compare it to the M4A1, the M4A1 feels like it has a much higher fire rate. However, in terms of the feel and everything, the guns are so, they're so similar. And you know, the fire rate may even be the same, honestly. It's just, it's hard to, it's hard to feel the difference. But. So, I think the plan of attack is not to go that way. Like, you don't want to go this way. I say we recommend or I say, I recommend, sorry, that we go around the silo here. But, I mean, do have a look, right? Make sure you don't see any stragglers, but it's looking good. So, yeah, we're going to go around the silo here. And um, we'll see how it goes, okay? So, let's do it. You want to take your time. Always check. Make sure no one's around. Oh, yeah, and actually, look right up here. See that platform right there? Yeah, right there. Um, usually a wolf sniper sometimes appears there, so just keep that in mind if you're ever in this area. So yeah, now we gotta start to really focus, because look, we have one rocket guy here too. Ooh, missed. Perfect. <laughs> that wasn't the gun's fault, that was completely my fault. <laughs> I still recommend this weapon completely, okay? Alright, so I know we already checked this area there, but looking good. So now, let's wrap around the front side here. And let's have a peek through these windows. These ones we can't really see through, but there's a new set of them right around here. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a wolf there for sure. Alright, so, 
In this case, I wouldn't recommend shooting them. Like, there's one or two of them there. But we're going to use our lures, okay? So, let's drop a lure around here. We'll get them out of there. Like, right about there is good. Actually, let's go a little further back there. Yes, okay. So, these guys will hopefully come investigate. We can split them up, take them out one by one. So, let's just wait for them. And see how this goes. But he's not coming, huh? Alright, let's showcase the FLIR here. You see that white hot thermal, how it paints your targets? This is great for stealth engagements because, you know, with Echelon you can see through walls, sure, but with Pathfinder I feel like you get to really glow your targets and it's not as handed to you, so it, it still has a little bit of like difficulty there, but the convenience of these FLIRs, of these, of these NVGs, really great, okay? So, let's just pop a drone inside, see how it goes. Yeah, so this part will connect all the way up to the room. Yeah, so we can go this way, but let's just go through the stairwell. And let's have a looky. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. All right, so we're safe to move in. There's no one like right around here. So like there's no one at the bottom part here. So we're safe. And now we got to get those wolves. So there's two wolves in this room here, but we didn't see them on drone. So they're somewhere in there. So I'm just kind of listening for them. But let's focus in here now and take them down. Crap. All right, guys. Clear. Ooh, there's a third one. I hear him. I hear him walking. Where's he at? Ah, yes, right here. Red mask guy. They're the shotgun ones. The red masks have the shotguns. <laughs> Keep that in mind. If you want to know the difference between the wolves. Okay, so that's the same room we droned. We're safe to go out. But look at this reload. That is the close and personal perk in action. You see how fast that reload is? That little flick of the mag? That's why I recommend that perk, okay? So yeah, I think we're going to have to um, crouch or lay down to get through here. So yes, we do. Ooh, yes. Another juicy wolf here. Eat it. Okay. So that's the area there. That little entrance. You'll well, well, we have to wrap around the front for you to see it. So yeah, this is the flare, man. It really helps you light up, paint an area. Paint an entire area. And and so actually, let's go back to the front. Let's let's go back to the front, okay? And do a double check. There we go. I hit the reload button when I was trying to climb. <laughs> All right. So, no one. No one. We've cleared out the front side. And that's exactly what the plan I wanted to do here was. To clear out this top portion and then work our way into the tunnels and go downstairs. All right. So, yeah. And, again, Pathfinder class, we have that FLIR vision. So we can really do a nice double check, but we're all safe here, so... Now we gotta start to get towards that, uh, that entrance that leads to the downstairs. So let's, um, let's do that. Take these off. Put these two bunkers right here, you see these two? Let's flick it back on for you guys. Because if there's any guys in there, we would've easily picked them off, alright? So again, I'm just trying to show you guys uses for these NVGs and why they're important and why you might favor them over the, the blue thermals. So yeah, I hear footsteps. So let's hurry those up by throwing a lure and maybe we'll throw it back there, I think. Or maybe right around this cinder block. Um, yeah, I think maybe to the right of it is good. Because I don't want guys to walk right in front of the entrance and die. I want them to die off to the side in case more guys come up, you know? I don't know, I'm, I'm just thinking of all the different things that could play out here. And that's kind of the mentality you need to have when you play games like this. You gotta kinda, you know, make educated guesses as to what you think might happen. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's up, he's up. Okay. So there's two dudes up here, because there was a voice from earlier, and there was also that guy. Oh, yep, yeah, look, he's right here. 
He's right around the corner. Perfect. Now we can get this guy that we lured right there. Beautiful. Now we gotta get real quick and go inside this tunnel and clear out the entire underbelly of the uh, missile site ruins on Golem here, okay? Sector 2. Ooh. Watch out! Yep. Yep, see, the third one there, painted it with that FLIR. You would not be able to do that if you had any other class selected, okay? I mean, mind you, you may, you may have had your, your regular NVGs on, but nothing beats that white glow. Look at that. It's so clear and satisfying. And now, ooh, yeah, we're going to show you the 4AC and its, and its optimal functioning here. And its, <laughs> its best use. Nice tight CQC, high fire rates. Snappy precision. Look at this. Mm. Yeah, right here. Ooh, you see that? You see that reload? Yeah, that's the reload I'm talking about. The close and personal perk right there. In a pinch, man. This is why this game can be really fun sometimes because. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, peek out, peek out. Come on. Hmm. Okay, it's this way. Yeah. Ooh, that was a dirty headshot to finish him. More targets here. Ah, nice. This tunnel is so fun. Sit down. Yes, sit down. Okay. All right, so I've showed you guys like these perks in action then. Oh, 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 oh. I failed. That was a fail. Wow, it's dark here. Eat it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, another. They're just lining up for me, huh? Yeah, line up. Where are these guys? Yeah. But look at how great the 4AC operates in an environment like this. Oh, yes. Mm, and that knife we picked? Ooh, that's the Fury Blade. That's the Fury Blade pulling him behind the wall to save us. I would have been killed by this shotgun wolf right here. Wow. So, a lot of examples are really going, are really showing right, right now. And this is exactly why I picked what I picked. And it's like, I can't even make this up, man. I cannot even make this up. Let's throw another one in here. Ooh. Darn it, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, and obviously the EMPs will also EMP your MVG, so keep that in mind as well. But we'll wait it out. There you go. Yeah, another one here. God. Oh, buddy. Way too satisfying. Yeah, this puts you in the mood to play Breakpoint, I bet. <laughs> Yo, know, when you see some satisfying headshots, man. Makes you want to do it. Okay. A lot of guys in here. Yep. What are you trying? You two back here? Quick reload to stay in the action. Back here? Yeah. I heard you on my headset. I heard your stupid footprints, Wolf. Nice try, punk. I thought I got all the guys upstairs so that no one would flank. Maybe he moved back from this entrance right around here. All right, let's go this way. Hit him from the back here. Oh yeah, another wolf. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. I didn't um, use the pistol yet. We should showcase that a little bit too. I'm trying to showcase everything, you know? Really give you guys a good overall look at everything I gave you today. Fuck, almost got killed. All right. Yeah, let me, uh, this guy. Yeah. Pistol won't run out. Yes. There it goes. Yeah. Fast fire rates, PG-27. Quick reload. Flick that mag. Mmm. See how quick he slides that mag in? Look at that. So quick. Stay in the action. Your aim is still set on target. That's it. That's that feeling. Ooh. Cycle between these things here. Just like that. Bouncy, bouncy. Back and forth. Yeah, never get the drop on me. Never ever get that drop. 
All right, so nice reloaded. Oh yeah. Mmm. Just gonna spray and pray in you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's keep going. Don't want to burst your eardrums any further. All right, so it's really quiet now. Let's go. Maybe this way first. Let's have a look. Yeah, I got the um, weapon masteries all on, so I'm moving extra quick here too. So pair those perks with those weapon masteries, and yes, sir, target back here, and um, and you'll have a beast of a character. I don't know how else to put it. Oh, they're relocated. Back here. Um, oh, he's down here. Ooh, dump you with this pist. Yeah, eat that pisty shot, buddy. Mmm, the bullets. Okay, I think that may have been the last guy. I think, especially down here. So, this chest I need. No, I've already gotten this chest. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, it's like pitch black down here. Let's get those back on. All right. Well, if this was it and we finished everything, I hope you guys, um, I hope I put my money where my mouth was and I proved it to you. <laughs> oh, wait, never mind. I didn't prove anything to you. There's still guys. Where did you come from, man? Where were you hiding? Oh, nice. Yeah, nice try. God, this loadout is so good. We're playing on extreme difficulty, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> But we are. We're playing on Xbox Series X here. Um, because I, I don't have any mods or anything. But pretty sure we did it. Pretty sure we cleared them out. So let's uh, have a peeky. Yeah, there's no one coming down. All right. Guns up. Let's have a look. You know what? Switch to that pistol. You'll fast walk even quicker. Look at that. Yeah. All right. So we're back where we started on the outside. So that was wildly successful it seems like it's dead here and um we freaking did it man <laughs> i put my money where my mouth was and uh and i completed it in one try that was great this worked out and um you guys got to see this absolute chad setup here get to be showcased and used we'll even prove it to you now that there's no one left uh fingers crossed or else that would be embarrassing yeah, it's pretty dead, I guess. I don't even hear anything. Whoa, Nomad's voice just came in out of nowhere. What the fuck, dude? Holy. That scared me. <laughs> Yo, that scared me. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like. Leave a comment if you found it helpful. I don't know. Maybe share some setups of your own. And if you want to do that, join us on Discord, okay? I'm going to leave you guys a nice little views. One more look at the outfit. And as always, once again, thank you guys for being here. And take it easy. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Ciao.